Call the air and that lets you save the Who cares? True form life. Green look on the Welcome to Exploring Mind and Body with Drew Tadia. Drew is an expert in nutrition, fitness, lifestyle, and more. And he wants to help you live a healthier, longer, and more active life. Now here's your host, Drew Tadia. Welcome to another edition of Nationally Syndicated Exploring Mind and Body. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here with us, whether you're listening on terrestrial radio or across the world as a podcast. We certainly wouldn't be here without you. Today, we're talking about riding the motivation wave. (laughs) I've got all kinds of tips and takeaways to help with you learn about motivation. Motivation isn't always there. And that's the fact of the matter. All of us struggle with motivation at one time or another. So I'm going to give you some tips and takeaways to help you learn how to ride that motivation wave when it's there and maybe even how to find it when you're not sure where it is. So sit back and enjoy. We got all that coming up on... This is Exploring Mind and Body. Naturally improve your lifestyle one show at a time with your host, Drew Tadia. All right, as discussed in the intro, you heard about our topic is riding the motivation wave. So I hope you're here with me. I'm super excited to get into this show. I know a lot of people struggle with motivation at different times of the year. I think depending on where you're at, Like in the winter, for example, that's a bit more challenging. But I also think that summertime can be challenging as well because we don't have a whole lot of motivation given that we're barbecuing and hanging out in our backyards or we're going camping. There's not a whole lot of motivation to eat well or to exercise. I mean, I know very few people that would exercise while on vacation, but I know a few that do as well. So if you want to be fit and active and happy and healthy, you have to make your decisions and you have to make your choices and you have to stand by them strongly because we know it's challenging and we know that motivation isn't always there. So let's get into some tips on how you can stay motivated and how you can be one of those people that people look up to. The first thing I want to talk about here is having a supportive community. I know we talk about this a lot, but there's so much value in understanding the value of having a supportive community. And there's so many things that we don't understand when it comes to being around people that support you and love you and care for you and support you and your dreams and goals and aspirations and desires. Many times we surround ourselves with negative people and it's unfortunate I mean that's all there is to it like we choose who is in and around our lives like unfortunately we can't choose our family (laughs) that's our family but we can choose our friends we can choose who we're hanging out with just because you have family and we love them and care for them doesn't mean that we have to surround ourselves with them and of course I'm talking about maybe more extended family if you're living at home and you have your parents there we're actually not really going to be able to avoid them unless you sit in your room all the time But understand what I'm saying here is that it really depends on on where you're at and where you are in life and maybe how old you are or where your close family and relatives and friends are. But we don't have to do everything with our family if they're super negative. We don't have to do everything that uh, entails going on family vacations or going and hanging out with our family for family reunions or family dinners, whatever it is. I know these are challenging to avoid altogether. But what I'm saying here is we need to support, find a supportive community, find people that are going to support us on a regular basis. And just because it's your family's your family and you love them and you're going, they're going to be in your life for the rest of your life in some way or another, we can still find other people in our lives to offer that support that we all need. And the fact of the matter is we all need support in one way or another, and we have to find different ways to find that support. So when I talk about finding a supportive community, there's many different ways we can go and find that support. I don't think many of us feel like or consider stepping outside of our comfort zone. I did a past show about your comfort zone here on Exploring Mind and Body, and I talked about the importance of stepping outside of your comfort zone because that's where you find results. So if we can understand that we need to step outside our comfort zone to find a supportive community, to look for people that are doing the things that we aspire to or want to do or the things that we want to achieve in our life, then we have to find those people to spend time with. 
And there's no way around it. We need to do this. We need to step out of our comfort zone. We need to join a running club. We need to find an art club. We need to find a cooking class. We need to do things in different ways that we're not used to so we can be around these types of people that have the same goals and and dreams and desires that we all want. Sorry, not that we all want, but that each individual wants. So if you want to be a surfer, you need to start hanging around with people that are surfing. I got to tell you, that's the only way to do it. I could go out there and learn to surf on my own, but it's so much more beneficial to go out with people that have been out there. They know the water. They know the waves. They can give you tips. They can talk about surfboards or surf waxing. That is something that was important in my life. I wanted to learn how to surf. So it was important for me to find people that surf as well. And and everyone's in a different situation, in different circumstance. Maybe it's downhill skiing or cross-country skiing. Whatever it is, we need to find those communities and those type of people that can lift us up and push us forward forward and help us achieve the things that we want to achieve in life. So finding that supportive community within finding a class, within finding a local group, with within going to, you know what, for me, like ask asking around is so powerful. Like social media reaches anywhere in the world. Social media reaches strangers, our close friends, our family members. If you ask, where can I find a knitting class? Where can I find a class that's going to help me live healthier? What's a great podcast to listen to? We can ask these questions, and I think we're afraid. I think we have some fear. We have some self-doubt that people are going to judge us for asking a question. Before we get into the show, I just want to mention Complete Truth Protein. This is a plant-based protein supplement that we've designed ourselves at Trueform. And the reason I designed it is because I felt like there was a need in the industry. Now, when I was traveling around the world... And I had a, I literally had a tackle box full of supplements and products and vitamins that did a whole lot more damage than good. So when I started doing more personal training and fitness classes, people would ask me what types of supplements I would recommend. And I always say, eat food. <laughs> so that's why I've designed Complete Truth Protein around food. It's made with quinoa and hemp seeds. And one of the main benefits that it offers is improved digestion. So many of us deal with digestion issues on a regular basis. It also gives you a natural boost of energy. So if you head over to trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein, we have tons of more details, videos, recipes, and everything you need to get going in the right direction with a good quality protein supplement. Trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein. You know, it's funny, I asked a question on one of my pages for someone else. And I have a pretty good audience, I have a good following, so I asked the question for for a friend, and then a lot of people thought I was asking the question for myself. And then there's a bit of judgment, like someone made a, like a gender comment, someone made a financial comment, like, I'm okay with that. But I think that there's a fear because then you release some of those insecurities and you release them openly. And the truth of the matter is, I think you need to do that. I think you need to step outside your comfort zone and say, I want to learn to run or I want to get a better time in a marathon or a half marathon or I want to run my first 5k this summer. I think we have to express those desires. I think we have to get rid of that self self doubt and like push it to the side just for a moment and say, look, this is what I want to do and I need your help. And I think when you, I feel like when you release some of that vulnerability and you share that with the world, then the world opens its arms to you and it says, I would love to help. How can I help? But if you don't ask and if you don't talk about it, if you don't share, how's anyone going to know? And of course, there's no accountability there. There's absolutely zero accountability if you never tell anyone because no one will ever know except for you. So if you have someone that you can tell and or talk to, if it's not specifically a question on social media, for example, if you can talk to your friends or family members, if you have that support within, then you can ask them and you can see if they'll help you and you can find different ways to offer support. My next step here is a challenge. My gosh, people love challenges. We love challenges. We do challenges at Trueform all the time. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash trueformlife. If you ever want to check us out there, we do challenges all the time. We've done vegan challenges. We've done workout challenges, seven day, 21 day smoothie challenges. We're doing a reboot challenge right away here. So 
and we're super excited and people love them. Most of the time they're free and we offer something like we're doing a seven day meal plan, for example, and we've done this in the past. We've done seven day, 14 day workouts. We've done 21 days of smoothies and every day we post a new smoothie and they're fun and exciting and people get excited about it. That's why I'm telling you that so many people are excited when it comes to a challenge. So my next point here when I'm talking about join a challenge, you got to do it. Try it. Some people never try challenges They're like, oh, well, I might fail or people will think of me as a failure or I won't be able to get through the seven days or 21 days or whatever it is. And I should mention that when I talk about this challenge, I'm talking about a boost of motivation. I'm trying to help you find a way to get motivated. I'm not saying that seven day, a seven day challenge is going to change your life forever. But what it can do is offer an ounce of motivation to get you going in the right direction. And you know, one of the things I often talk about is making your bed, make your bed in the morning. And I think it's so important just to make your bed. And it seems so in- insignificant. It sounds like it doesn't matter, but it does. If you wake up in the morning and you make your bed, you've made your bed. You've done something. You've completed something. You've found some form of success and that will carry on to other areas of your life. So if you make your bed in the morning, you're like, oh, that, you know, that looks nice. It feels like I'm more organized. I got one thing done and I haven't even done anything. I've just got out of bed. So you make your bed and then you say, I'm going to pour myself a glass of lemon juice and sorry, like a fresh squeeze of lemon and some water. And that's going to help alkalize my body or my, my body. So my, my food, my, my intestines are more ready to digest food. So then you have your lemon water and then you're like, oh, well, I'm actually kind of hungry right now. I'm going to have breakfast and I'm not used to having breakfast. So understand that one thing leads to another and it all helps with the, uh, with the motivation that we're talking about here. So when I say challenge, like join a seven day challenge, 21 day challenge, whatever it is, we're hoping that that challenge will ignite you and lead you and motivate you into doing something more for your health and continue to help improve your health and your lifestyle because that's what we're all about at True Form. We don't want to teach you how to do a quick fix. That's not what we're here for. But what we do want to share with you is that you can be motivated. You can find motivation. Once you find that motivation, it's time to ride that motivation wave. So one thing after another, one baby steps first. We got to walk, crawl before we walk. We got to walk before we run. And of course, we got to run before we sprint. So let's take it one step at a time together. So this that's why we're talking about challenge here. Find a challenge. There's tons of challenges online. You can find a finance challenge, a food challenge, a workout challenge. It doesn't matter what it is. There's a free challenge out there that you don't have to pay for. This is a great way to find a supportive community, join a seven day, 10 day challenge and see what kind of people are in there. See if you can communicate and connect. See if you can support other people and encourage them in different ways. You know, it's funny is a smile goes such a long way. A smile, a handshake, a compliment, a hug. These they seem so small and insignificant and just like making your bed in the morning, but they can change someone's entire day. And they do like a, a conversation, a, a happy, bright, supportive conversation, maybe talking to a stranger, like they really change lives. And I think that those of us that are willing to say hi to a stranger or good morning, I think we're changing the world. We really are change the world one good morning at a time, putting that on a t-shirt. Don't steal that. <laughs> but what I'm talking about here is when we find a challenge, we ch- you find one thing that you can do together in a group. When everyone's working towards one thing, it's amazing. There's so much benefit that comes out of it. So as for my second tip, find a challenge. Do something that's going to take you closer to your goal. Or maybe that is your goal. Maybe you want to set a goal for yourself that I'm going to do one challenge this year or one challenge this month or one challenge this this half, this half before the new year comes, whatever it is. And, and I think that's going to make a big difference in your life. Without doubt, without a question, find a challenge. My next point here is goals. My gosh, we have to set goals. And I know people don't want to talk about goals. You don't have to use the word goals. But I think we have to have that mindset of achieving. Like We want things in life. So if you're listening to this show, there's a good chance you want to find motivation in some way or another. And don't get me wrong, just because you're listening to this show doesn't mean that you're not motivated or that I don't think that you're motivated. We all struggle with motivation. The fact of the matter is motivation is not always there. And I know that because I'm a highly motivated person. I feel like I am motivated just about every day of the week and just about 
all the time throughout the week, but I have moments where I'm not motivated. Just want to take a minute to mention Complete Truth Protein again. This is a protein supplement that we designed at True Form. We believe in food. We believe food heals, cures, and prevents. That's why this product is much different than your conventional types of products. Unfortunately, packed with chemicals, preservatives, toxins that our body doesn't know how to utilize, digest, and absorb. So that's why Complete Truth Protein can help improve your digestion and will offer a natural boost of energy. You can find more details at trueformlife.com slash complete truth protein. That's why I'm telling you that there's times when everyone's not motivated, whether you're a highly motivated person or whether it takes a lot for you to become motivated. So understand that you're not alone and you can find support in different ways. So we do that by setting a goal. And it, it, like I said, the word goal is like, I don't know, it's like a almost like talking about politics or finance. It's like goal. He said goal. I don't want to talk about goals. It's okay to talk about goals. It's okay to make goals. It's okay to set goals. It's okay to not just succeed in reaching your goal, but it's okay to fail and not reach your goal. But we got to set them. We have to set goals. We have to set things that motivate us and make us strive for new and more and different. It doesn't always have to be more. I feel like we have this mindset of always needing more and more, or always wanting more, finding different ways to have more in our lives. I feel like it's kind of crazy. Like we live in this world of too much. Like So if you, if you can understand that we have so much, there's so much clutter, there's so much noise, there's so much nonsense, then we can understand that we can have, we don't always have to have more. But if we're looking for motivation and we're looking to achieve on different levels, then we need to find a way that's going to give us that boost. It's going to give us that excitement. There's so many different ways to set goals and to achieve different things. And you know, it's funny for me is that I was a professional athlete or an athlete for my whole life. And I still consider myself an athlete. But when I stopped playing at a competitive level, on some level deep down, I kind of thought like, I thought about like part of my life was over and, and I suppose it was, but I suppose I, I didn't feel like I could still achieve and still do new things and still accomplish more things. The fact of the matter is like I was playing and training so much. I did one thing. I played baseball. That's what I did. But when I stopped playing, it was, it was like a whole new world opened its arms to me. It was like, I can do some gymnastics. I can learn to walk on my hand. Do, well, first it was do a handstand. I always wanted to do a handstand. But I never took the time or effort or energy because I was always playing baseball. So I taught myself how to do a handstand. Then I learned how to walk on my hands. And there's so many things that we can do. Never thought I'd surf. I, I always thought it would be cool. Never thought I'd learn how to surf. Never. I never thought I'd run a 10K or a half marathon. Like these are things that we can accomplish if we open our vision and open our mind and be like, I can do this. I can accomplish. These are things in my life that I want to do. So why not set out and do it? And it comes back to finding a supportive community. Maybe you find a challenge. It's going to help offer inspiration. And then you have your goals as well. Like set goals, set things that are going to push you forward and help carry you on. Because without them, I feel like many of us are just wandering around like, What's the point of doing that? Why are we trying this? I feel like many people just float through life and they don't really experience. You know, if you set your goals high and you fail, I feel like there's more failure. And a lot of people don't want to deal with that failure. So we set don't set goals at all or we set very small goals because if we miss them, you don't fall that hard. But I think of it like you have a giant goal and you're climbing to the top and it takes forever and you're struggling and you're dealing with rejection and you're dealing with failure you get so close you're going climbing higher and higher all of a sudden you slip and you fall all the way to the bottom and it and you hit the ground and it hurts it's painful but you know what you dust yourself off and you get back up and you realize this wasn't so bad i can do this i can fail i can succeed but i feel like when you don't give yourself that chance that opportunity to climb that high because you're afraid you're gonna fall because you're afraid you're gonna slip off that ladder and fall all the way back to the ground we don't find that success or we don't find that excitement we don't understand what it's like to succeed at a level we never thought we could succeed at 
So let's say, for example, you're climbing that same ladder and you're like, oh, I've fallen from this before. I'm probably not going to reach the top, but I believe in myself. I believe I can do this. I can make it. So you're climbing one step after the other and, you, and there's debris falling down from the, the, from the side of this ladder that you're climbing on and the wind blows. It blows you from side to side and you're struggling and there's some self-doubt because there's always self-doubt and you're pulling yourself up one ladder at a time and finally you pull yourself over the edge and you reach the top and it's like my gosh I did this I made it success victory I'm a champion I made this happen there's no greater feeling than succeeding when you set yourself up for a goal and you feel like you're not gonna make it it doesn't matter how long it takes as long as you get back up doesn't matter how many times you fall. It matters how many times you get back up. I'm sure we all heard that before. But it doesn't matter how many times you fail, how many times you slipped, how many times you fell back to the ground. You pull yourself back up one ring at a time, one step at a time, whatever it is. And once you find that success at the very top, I think that a lot of people don't know what that feels like. I really don't. And I feel like that drives me because I we go through a lot of successes and failures, m many more failures. Like any big success brought along tons of failure. I just want to mention Complete Truth Protein here once again before I let you go. This is a protein supplement we designed ourselves made with quinoa and hemp seeds, also maca and stevia. We have two different types of products. They both have tons of health benefits. You can bake the original bag you can bake with. It's perfect for gluten-free flour. If you're celiac or gluten intolerant, we have tons of recipes on trueformlife.com which include raw protein balls. People absolutely love these ones. We have pancakes, cookies, muffins, all healthy, all clean ingredients. Dorothy puts these together for us on a weekly basis. So if you head over to trueformlife.com, head over to the recipe section. We have all kinds of recipes on how you can use Complete Truth Protein. It's also a vegan and raw product. So if you have any intolerances or if you have any issues with digestion, this will definitely help you out. Once again, that's trueformlife dot com slash complete truth protein but what drives me is that final success that success that's like no one believed i can do this maybe not even myself maybe i mean of course i believed at some level you have to to get there you have to believe in yourself but i feel like when we set our sights so high we're like how am i ever going to make this happen and no one believes you can do it and when you say it out loud you feel like most people think you're a crazy individual Something wrong with you. They're going to check you into a, some kind of institute with a rubber room and a backwards jacket. But you get to the top and you make it. And you're so excited. And that lifts you up. And that opens your vision. And that makes you believe you can do even more. And I feel like if people, more people could feel that, could make, can reach that success level and feel that victory, then more people would do these things. Then we'd set more goals for ourselves. Then we wouldn't be so scared of failure because we would know that without that failure, without falling down so many times, we never would have reached where we reached. That gave us so much life and so much inspiration and so much motivation to ride the wave. My last step here is going to be social media. I'm not a big social media fan, although we run much of our business through social media. I think that social media is abused in many different ways, and I think it's abused most of the time. And I know that's not going to sound all that great, but I really do. I feel like it's abused most of the time it's used. So people are on there putting up negative things. They're saying less than positive, taking less than positive action. They're not involved in inspiring types of material. And I think that if we use social media in a positive way, then we can find motivation from it. And I'm talking about going to pages. So I could take a step back here and say, find a supportive group online through social media. Like our groups are through mostly through Facebook. So that's a way that you can use social media to find support, a supportive community. We do challenges on social media as well. So you could join one of our challenges or someone, another different challenge from someone else you follow on social media. So that's a great way to follow some of these tips that I've been giving you throughout the show. Then we have goals. Goals is what I talked about just before this. It's pretty difficult to make a goal on social media, but you can find different goals. You can find people that you aspire to. I'm sure we all follow different influencers, if you will, on Instagram, let's say, or whatever platform you're using. So we can find different 
influencers that give us inspiration. So maybe we want to do some of the things they do. Or maybe they do a morning video and we watch two minute, a minute or two of them doing a video in the morning and gives us inspiration. Or maybe we watch their workout or whatever food they're making. And I think that that's a great way. We follow these types of people. Now, I'm not talking about those people that rant about nothing. And for whatever reason, they have 20,000 views. I'm, I'm talking, or 200,000 views. I'm talking about people that offer inspiration in a positive manner. People that lift you up. People that make you feel excited and alive. Not people that make you feel frustrated and angry. I think there's like that uh, crowd. It's like social proof or like a mob man mentality. When it's like one person complains, everyone's got to complain. And I just put up on my post, I, I, I gave a story on my page and I talked about how I went through this experience with shipping, which is very challenging for us because our shipping costs money. Like we pay a lot of money in shipping and then the shipping companies throw our stuff around and, and our stuff breaks. And I just talked about it from a very personal standpoint. And uh, we had some people jump in there and they were like started complaining like, yeah, they shouldn't be doing that. And I, and I squashed it. I was like, all right, guys, wait a second. I was just explaining my experience. I think we all need to understand and find a way to come from a positive light, from a positive angle and spread light on the world. Like all, all I was trying to do is raise awareness and share my perspective from my side because I don't think a lot of people know what it's like to design and create a product, especially when you are dealing with companies that could ruin that product when you put so much time and effort into it or break it or destroy it like that's super challenging for us right now because we deal with glass bottles with our magnesium supplement if you're interested in more details you can head over to trueformlife.com slash trimag magnesium which is our product that we're super pumped about but that's something a struggle that we're dealing with but it's not our goal to complain or to cause trouble or to be involved in like a ranting situation where everyone like mob mentalities in there is like yeah let's crucify them because they don't know what they're doing like no no that's not what we're about we're about being positive and and trying to make a change in a good way so i think that it's important to follow those types of people and and they'll lift you up and go on youtube and watch someone like i mentioned mark Wahlberg in the in the beginning of the show go on and watch his morning routine or see one of his morning work workouts i think the rock dwayne johnson is also one of those people that wakes up super early and works super hard all day long you know it's funny i mean like there's no substitute for hard work like none at all you can't substitute for it and i think every successful person is has like I don't want to say everyone, like most of them, like 98% of super successful people have been a hard worker at some point in their lives. And I feel like they've dealt with a whole lot of rejection. And I think you have to. And when you look at these guys and their their schedules are so busy. I looked at some guys like, I think it was Ryan Seacrest. I was looking at one of his um, daily schedules and he's, and he's like bounces from, I don't know if he's on The Voice. I'm not like a huge fan. Sorry, Ryan. But I know that he's on radio and his show is syndicated and he does TV. I think he does The Voice maybe. I don't know. He does all kinds of different stuff. But he bounces. I think he's up at 4.30 in the morning. Then he flies to one studio, drives to another. And like that's hard work. Every like Most people know his name because he grinds it out every day. That's who he is. That's what he does. Like That's his day. And I think many of us are worried or scared about that hard work when it comes to finding motivation. Like Sometimes you've got to work hard to find that motivation. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with hard work. I think we have to find our our balance. And I also think we will have to work hard too if we want to find what we're looking for. But that's what I have for you today. That's what I wanted to share with you. I hope that gives you some insight on riding the motivation wave, finding what motivates you, and then carrying on with it. Because like I said, it's not always going to be there. We're always, all of us are going to deal with a time or two in our lives or often when we need to find newfound motivation. So Hopefully, hopefully some of these tips helped and gave you some ideas on what you can do to find that motivation and ride the wave when it comes. All past shows are going up on exploringmindandbody.com. You can check out all past shows there. We also have a free app you can download on any Apple device. Head over to our app store, search for Exploring Mind and Body, download our show, and take us with you wherever you go. More details are at trueformlife.com. This is our main website where we do meal planning, recipes, grocery shopping lists, at-home workouts. We talk a lot about detoxing pro the proper way. We talk about reducing stress in your lives. A couple of our products are Complete Truth Protein and TriMag or Magnesium Supplement. Both of them will help you 
gain energy and improve your digestion in many ways. Try Meg more specifically for the energy boost and natural forms of sleep. It'll definitely help you with sleep, restless legs, nerves, headaches, so many benefits from Try Meg. Our results and testimonials are flooding in. It's been amazing. Complete Truth Protein is more for smoothies, baking, um, smoothies, baking, and it's better for energy and digestion. So we can definitely help you out if you want interested in any of those. Head over to trueformlife.com. Once again, thank you so much for being here. That's it. That's all I got. I'm out of here. As always, I'm your host, Drew Tadia, in health and fitness for a better world. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to Exploring Mind and Body with True Form Life's Drew Tadia, fitness expert. To find out more about the show, Drew Tadia, or to listen to past shows, visit exploringmindandbody.com.